What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Hope bringing you a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at Xur for week number 33. So here we go, Xur is in the original spot next to the Crucible guys and let's take a look at his inventory. So here's what he has for the weekend and let's jump right into it. For the Titan we have the MK44 stand aside exotic leg armor and this one has carry more ammo for heavy weapons and increase the duration shoulder charge remains active pretty much for crucible striker titans if you like using that shoulder charge and getting those one hit melee attacks on your enemies um it increases the duration by i don't know like a few seconds but it's not the best exotic to use your exotic slot on but if you want to try it out it's pretty fun to use if you like shoulder charging a lot. For the hunter we have the crest of alpha loopy chest armor, revive teammates faster, spawn more orbs, carry more ammo for special weapons, and carry more ammo for hand cannons. Not bad especially for uh, Trials of Osiris coming up because it's rumored to be skirmish and uh, we'll find out more about it for this week on the Bungie Twitch stream on Wednesday but uh, this is a pretty good pickup um, really good for spawning more orbs and reviving teammates quicker in a lot of 3v3 game modes for the Warlock we have the Skull of Dire Ahamkara this one has increased grenade throw distance more super energy from grenade kills and tougher while using Nova Bomb and improved energy drain um, this helmet is just okay in my opinion um, it just makes you a little bit harder to kill when you're doing the Nova Bomb animation and uh, that's always useful sometimes but um, overall I like the other exotic Warlock helmets better like uh, the Obsidian Mine or even um, Apotheosis Veil and stuff is better in other scenarios. For the gun we have the Mita Multi-Tool Exotic Scout Rifle. This weapon boosts movement speed and fires on a hair trigger and the radar stays active while aiming down this weapon's sight. Really good gun. I love this. I love using it. I use it all the time in the pit or the lamp section of Crota's N. Um, it's also pretty good scout rifle in general. It's it's pretty fast and uh, helps you move quicker as as it says. And overall, I just I just like the feel of this gun. It's pretty good. Um, to use I like it as a scout rifle in general um, so I suggest picking it up because I like it a lot it's really good and then we have the exotic chest engram for the upgrades we have pot or uh, Acrophage symbiote and mask of the third man both are really good if you don't have an upgraded version of either of these I recommend you upgrading it for the Titan we have Helma Saint 14 and Helma Inmost Light I recommend Saint 14 over Inmost Light because Saint 14 is the best titan pve helmet even useful in pvp as well as you can blind enemies but mostly useful in pve and for the warlock we have light beyond nemesis and heart of the praxic fire um both of these are not bad but i like heart of praxic fire better than light beyond nemesis for the guns we have suros regime might multi-tool thorn invictive universal remote and patience and time um, the best ones here are Thorn, as Thorn is really good in PvP. Um, you can just buy Mita Multi-Tool instead of doing this, because this uses more resources. And then, Universal Remote's not bad, because they buff shotguns. Invictive's also okay. Patience in Time, really good sniper for Nightfall's arc damage. And Suros Regime kind of fell off the map. It was a really good a Crucible gun, but now Auto Rifles are kind of junk so uh, nobody really uses it but you can it's overall a decent and average weapon if you want to get an upgraded version of it and that's about it we have heavy ammo synthesis and all these telemetries as well and that's about it for this week zero week 33 thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos got a bunch of more stuff coming soon so stay tuned for all that and i will catch you guys next time peace